Hey, this is Joel with Nanomed Existence. We're gonna talk about our gear and uh, look at some stuff. So, uh, right here I have an eight-string Agile. Uh, pretty much it has an Invader here and then a Pegasus. And uh, I use it on a few songs because a few songs go down to as low as F sharp. So I just have the string uh, on there. But a lot of the songs I can just play on a regular seven string as well. These are Ernie Ball strings, and uh, this is a 74 and a 64. And then the rest are just standard here, like 56 through 10 here. And uh, I kind of have to do it in a hybrid fashion. I actually put bass strings on it, and it kind of. <laughs> Because they're the actual correct scale, a lot of strings aren't the right length, they'll just go to here, so it's pretty sweet. Most of the time, well I mean this one activates the uh, neck pickup here, and I use that for leads and cleans, which is the invader. And then for rhythm riffs, I'll just use the Pegasus here. And I pretty much just switch between those two. But you can do a blend of the two if you leave it in the middle. It's kind of nice, I like, I like wider frets, um, I really like the string spacing here. It gets kind of tricky to do chords and stuff if the strings are too close together, so I got purposefully got a wider fretboard. And uh, the fact that it's 28 scale gives it a little bit more low end of a baritone sound. So, yeah, get some pretty cool tones out of it. And then uh, this one, it's a little bit grimy, I gotta clean it, but uh, <laughs> this is a Carvin DC 727. And uh, this one's my primary axe. I actually use it to record the new album. Um, so I've really been digging it a lot. I usually, I've been using a Floyd Rose on it as well with the whammy bar somewhere in the box. Um, but I've been digging the tones I get out of it and it just seems to be the right scale for what I'm looking for and looking to do. I mean on this one, uh, just Seymour Duncan's and uh, basically you can do coil tapping over here and uh, switch it up. You actually have a lot more pickup options on this guitar. Um, so hey, you can get actually during the set, I'm constantly switching between these, just kind of, you know, I mean, it's kind of tricky. But, yeah, this is the uh, Axe FX2 Mark II, and uh, we actually have consolidated our rig a lot recently by picking this up because we run both guitars out of one unit here, which is really convenient, and you save a lot on, you know, when you're loading in, loading out every night, it kind of sucks to carry a bunch of heavy stuff. So it's cool to kind of break it all down. Into and uh, yeah, and then this is just for power up here, and uh, that XLS 1000 power ramp. Uh, previously we had PV6505 pluses, and uh, those are really heavy. They sound really good, but uh, you do have to, they require some maintenance. You have to replace the tubes pretty frequently, and make sure you do a bias test and make sure it's sounding all good. And uh, again, that's two separate, I mean, they're definitely well over 50 pounds units you're gonna have to carry around at every venue, so we just kind of, downsized to a smaller rig here. It's been pretty helpful. Oh uh, yeah, these are just uh, Mesa ca rectifier caps and they're actually the oversized ones. Kind of gives it a little extra punch. Um, just the overall frame is larger on these. So it's that ching 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 ching. What's up? I'm uh, Cameron Porras from the band Inanimate Existence and uh, I want to show you my Schecter guitar right over here. This is a Schecter Hellraiser 7 string and then uh, just like Joel's we got the Seymour Duncan's put in. It's an Invader and a Pegasus and they sound really gainy and really powerful so we're very happy with those. I don't have the whammy bar on mine so I do want to upgrade one day to one of those but for now you get a lot of good chunk out of just having the, the standard bridge. And then up here we got our tuners set on there for easy convenience because we do tune a lot during our set. It's also a little greasy, you can tell it's been on the road for a little while, so sorry I didn't clean it up. But uh, So uh, we play in B standard for most of our songs and then we switch also to uh, dropped A for a few of our tracks, so a little bit of uh, variation in our set. Well yeah, we play all the B songs in a row and then we do all the songs in dropped A together, so it's a little bit more convenient so we don't have to stop every song, you know. So yeah, I, I mostly use this bridge pickup right here. This is like for all the rhythm stuff. Uh, if you're doing cleans, I would usually switch to the bridge pickup, which is this one right here. It makes everything a lot softer sounding, a lot less abrasive. So if you're doing like uh, things clean and things solo-y, it helps you, uh, helps you shred a little bit more cleanly. So yeah, it's definitely uh, good to do the variation and not just keep it at one. So like Joel was saying, yeah, we have the axe effects uh, and then we have all of our, uh, we have a lot of different tones that we have just like saved on here. And what we do to switch all of our tones instead of using pedal, oh, yeah. <laughs> how's it going? 
what we use instead of pedals is uh, we have a laptop running a program called Reaper, which is just like a basic DAW, and through MIDI it switches it, uh, and we have like all of our songs on a metronome running through the same program. So everything's kind of just like on a time track. So all we do is just hit play once at the beginning of the set, and it uh, does all the switches for us. Uh, the, the effects are all inside of here, but the act of switching it is done through a computer. The computer basically tells it when it's time to switch, so we never have to think about it. it makes everything very convenient. Okay, I'm uh, Scott from Inanimate Existence. I'm going to be showing you some of the gear for my rig. So here we've got my bass. We've got an S Ibanez SR1205. Uh, it's either a 92 or 93. I've tried to look it up, but it's kind of hard to tell from the old catalogs. But yeah, it's a pretty old bass. I've had it for since I was 18, so about 11 years. Uh, really used to it, neck through design. Um, pretty beat up, as you can see. But uh, I use really heavy gauge strings. I use uh, DR DDTs. Um, we've got mid and uh, mid frequency and sweep here, bass and treble, and then we've got the pickup switch and obviously volume. The pickups are these stock 1992 pickups, Ibanez brand pickups. Very worn. You can see the logos aren't even on them anymore. I mean, it's from you know 20 year, 25 years ago. So. So, so really, it's just a feel thing for me. I've been playing the bass for so many years. I'm really used to it. It's kind of a wider, thicker neck as opposed to more modern, thinner necks. Just what I'm used to. I feel like you get a little more sustain out of the neck through and uh, the, the uh, heavier strings. So it's just something I'm really used to and I like it a lot. As you can see, I've replaced some of the tuners. Um, it's, it's gone through a lot of wear, but it's, uh, it's really been uh, reliable for me. Okay, as you can see, I'm using a Little Mark III here. It's by Mark Bass. Um, some of the newer solid state, uh, very, much smaller amplifiers. Uh, it's light, as Joel was talking about, it makes it a lot easier for load in and space and uh, some we, we don't use a trailer, so whatever we can do to save space and save our backs and stuff when we're loading, it helps a lot. I use everything pretty much flat. Uh, I, in my experience, I find you don't want to do too much to the EQ on, on the head because the flat is going to come through much clearer. You need to keep the mids when you're doing uh, stuff so you can be heard amongst the guitar. Um, and then here we've got a Dave Eden 2x10 uh, with, a, with a tweeter here. And... Um, Actually, at home I have an 8x10 SWR working man, but same thing, we use this because honestly when we're plugging direct in in all these venues, there's no need for a huge cab to lug in and lug out because it's mostly just a stage monitor for me. Thank you for watching our video. We are in Animate Existence, and uh, thanks for checking out our gear. Look forward to our album, Calling From A Dream, coming out in the next three months, hopefully in August. And uh, see you guys later.